12. I am so happy to be here with you guys tonight. We are joined by a true legend in my eyes, I'm sure with many of your eyes as well. Um, another one of those guys that I've been listening to for 20 plus years and um, his his art has has been such an inspiration to me throughout my whole entire career doing this type of music and I'm I'm very honored such a pleasure to be joined by Luke LeMay of Gorguts. What's going on, Luke? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your nice words. No, yes, I'm very man. happy to be here tonight. It's so, um, so anyway, so get the guitar starting to jam. And then, uh, oh, then I remember I got uh, schizophrenia from Sepultura in those years on vinyl. And I remember yeah. learning by ear. Uh, from the past comes the storm. Ah, but holy shit, man! That that was uh, <laughs> so. That really got me very uh, serious, and you know, got to practice. And uh, I was really uh, disciplined, you know. Right. This. So I get my guitar, and then my buddy Frank. We were we're still in high school, and then he starts his band. It's called uh, Damaged, and it's uh, more thrashy. They're playing a lot of creator. Uh, what mm. else they were playing? They weren't playing any Metallica cover. They were they were more uh, creator. Uh, maybe some Megadeth. Tab, I'm like, I don't remember. I think they played uh, Chapel of Ghouls, which was on the Grand Crushers back then. You remember? It was like one of the first Morbid Angel single, you know, that came out. And uh, mm -hmm. anyway, so Frank. Uh, guy, He's got a bad, but it wasn't with his brother, and it was pretty heavy and everything. And dude, me, I was like uh, like a third wheel, you know, for them. I was like, dude, I really want to play with you guys. I really want to play. And then the drummer calls me one day. It's like, uh, thanks, but no thanks. It's like, we're we going to stay as a three-piece. So thank you. <laughs> and then I find uh, uh, two guys in Sherbrooke. Mm -hmm. and then we learned some slayer some uh a few covers but we didn't write any composition together and then i get a call that uh damage you know my buddy frank and and uh, and the bass player which is which was steve cloutier that plays on obscura and from wisdom okay oh shit so that that's from those days that we we know each other so they moved to quebec city and they kicked the drummer out which is stefan that plays on considered dead Okay. Oh wow. So and and Stefan, you know, to me, you know, very good mm -hmm. drummer. So that he's the one I need, you know, to get my shit uh, together. So we met in the mm -hmm. summer of uh, eighty nine, August, and uh, we started Gorguts. So that's how it started. So I didn't, I didn't play. I didn't have like twenty bands before or whatever, you know. I played with the two Stefans, uh, which which form uh, Purulence with Big Steve. Mm -hmm. And me, I went with uh, Stefan that used to play with my buddy Frank, you know, when we formed Gorgots, and that was it. Yeah. What was your first goal in, in like in the style of music? Just straight at this you know, death metal. Death me, metal. I, I really, oh man, I mean, Scream Bloody Gore was like, I want to yeah. play music like this. And then Leprosy yeah. came yeah. out also, and it's like, dude, yeah, yeah. Dude, dude, okay. Yeah. Dude. Even, even, uh, I don't know if we had recorded our demo yet, but spiritual healing was out as well. Okay. So, so we had that, you know, and uh, uh, on our radar, you know, so that really raised the bar because, dude, spiritual, all the leads and everything with Murphy and, and the execution, even leprosy. It's, dude, that didn't take a wrinkle. You listen to that today for all those old school death metal fans, wave or whatever. And that didn't age at all, you know. It's very well executed, you mm. know, and it, it sounds yeah. great. This so, is a good question. So, How did you so, come up with the name Gorguts? Ah, oh, that's a, that that uh, that's a good question. Thanks for asking. It, it was our friend uh, Bob where we were uh, rehearsing, and uh, blah blah blah. So we have been, and he was a drummer, and he played uh, with uh, uh, other friends uh, uh, of mine. Mm -hmm. And he was a big horror fan, you know, Fangoria. And dude, I think at some point yeah. his day-to-day -day car was a fucking uh, hearse. 
Is that what we say, Hurst? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> so, so he was really into horror and and uh, all all those things. Yeah. And and uh, and I remember him telling me one day, it's like, hey man, when I have enough time, I would like to do this side project all about horror. And it wasn't the years of carcass uh, reek of putrefaction and all. So there was a big sure. buzz, you know, for the the gory stuff. And then he goes like, dude, I'd like to to get this project going, and I would call that gore guts, you know. So and me, I thought, oh man, that's a great name. And uh, one day. I just asked him where we were jamming in his basement. I said, "Hey, Bob, I mean, I've been trying to 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 think about a name, and I just can't can't came up with anything. Do you mind if we take the Gorgots name? Oh, it's okay, <laughs> take it. I don't have time to do my project anyway. So that's how it came up. <laughs> nice, that's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, I've noticed just like in your style, like going from you know to uh, like erosion of sanity, like it went." From kind of, I want to say, scream buddy gore style to like, you know, like in the pocket and to, to kind of go into like more technical and more like starting to be more riffy. Like, what were the, uh, so I mean, obviously, like most metalheads, they start like at Iron Maiden, they go to, they, they step up to the ladder more crazy or crazy or crazy. So, was that kind of the same like a uh, thing with you guys, just getting like more technical, adding more like maybe we're jazzier, I mean, like shreddier parts or parts of different time signatures and stuff like that? But me, what what did it for? Uh, what brought the erosion uh, aesthetic for me is when I saw uh, suffocation uh, jamming. Yep. That's. Yeah. And I mean, you listen to uh, erosion, and it's totally suffocation influenced. Totally, oh, interesting. Totally, totally. Wow. Interesting. And I have no problem saying this. You know, it's. I mean, it's. Uh, dude, dude. I, I I went I went to New York City to do interviews at Roadrunner uh, when Considered Dead came out. And uh, then Monty said, uh, or I asked him, I said, dude, would you have the phone number from the guys uh, of suffocation? Because I was staying in New York City for two days. You know, I, I went then mm -hmm. I went down there by train and uh, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And I had heard their record at more sound before it came out because Scott was remixing it or uh, and, right. and, and, and it was there. Yeah. I'm sorry. Scott Burns, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So and, and and they had they had went in the studio like a month before us or something, you know. So and but me, I knew about their music because I saw them at Day of Death in Buffalo, which was a festival, you know, that Emulation played. Cannibal was there, and I bought the Suffocation demo there. That was before Human Waste, I believe. Yeah. And then I go to uh, we go to Morris Sound. I get to hear uh, I get to hear um, uh, Effigy. Mm -hmm. and i'm like uh, dude yeah it's yeah. unbelievable you know so when i went to new york city to do the interviews i asked mm -hmm. monty to get a phone number to 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 call one of the guy i think he gave me doug uh cerrito a phone number or something mm -hmm. hey dude what's up uh i'm luke uh, hey uh from Gorkas. yeah yeah oh we like our your record blah blah i said dude i'm in town you guys want to hang out I'd, i would really love to to meet you you know and yeah. even today, when I like a band and they come to Montreal, I love to go meet them. I bring my CDs. I'm total fanboy. I have no problem. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So when I like some when I like somebody else's craft, you know, I really want to share with them. And, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. So so Doug, uh, Terrence and uh, Frank, they, uh, <laughs> they came to the office uh, at Roadrunner. Mm. So they came to pick me up. And they, they took me to uh, to Long Island where they live, you know, yeah, at, yeah. Uh, at uh, Mike Smith uh, house. Okay. But there was no there was no bass player. Uh, uh, Josh was in there. Uh, was it Josh? His name, I think, on the first album. Is, is it Josh? Mm. Uh, Sh uh, Sean, uh, I think it is. Barrow, yeah. Barrow, yeah, or something. Yeah, but I think it wasn't right. there. I, I met him year, uh, a couple of years later. But anyway, so there was just Ob, Cerrito, Frank and uh and smith so we go down it, it was at mike smith uh house and they had their jam spot uh in the basement there was a couch in front of the it was the first time i saw those mpeg uh, stacks you know and you know oh, yeah. those mpeg uh, vh, VH. Yeah. yep yeah 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 so uh and dude 
I think they started Liege or something. <laughs> I just <laughs> lost my shit. Like, what the like, fuck what? am I doing with my little, <laughs> my little riff? It's like, dude, dude, Jesus. dude. Wow. Let's, let Let's go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Right, yeah. right. That those moments are key yep. moments that, that oh. I think we all experience where you just see um a band that's doing something that inspires you plus their light years ahead of you that you, you feel their light years ahead of you at and the time. It's like yep. how the fuck can you come up with stuff which is so awesome? Oh yeah, it's, dude. It's, there's not a pit stroke that is bad. It's 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 you see, well, I will so say, special. I will I'm say sorry. that effigy and considered are like neck and neck with me. Oh. In reality, the like the for first full lengths of bands, mm -hmm. dude, those two okay. are are super solid releases for both of those bands. So I could see you being inspired and then going back to the drawing board after that, you know, dude, and and the Anthony, the the the. the I remember being in the room and the sound was so good. Oh, dude, it when you good. feel it in your body what, in a jam the, space. I'm sorry? I said when you feel it in your body in a small jam space where yeah, everything's just a small jam space. We were we were like this. It was like oh nice couch, you know, like a nice house, you know, yeah, nice neighborhood. Okay. But uh and uh, it's it's fine, we can jam at uh, at our house, no problem. It wasn't like uh crusty punk but you're all but you're all contained in one area though yeah and experiencing those sound but, waves from the source but the sound and and it was very dry dude i remember like it was uh, yesterday it mm. was very dry very clear but but the execution they they play so well so that's a uh, that's kind of an important part in the equation, so it sounds good too, you know. Yep, your right, finger. Right. But, but they had Secret. something. Those super fast palm mutes and everything. I just yeah, I just lost it. Yeah. And 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 I sang uh, "Infecting uh, the Crips" with them. Hell yeah! Hard, yeah. You know? So uh, and and uh, just 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 a parenthesis uh, like this. Uh, we 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 just released uh, 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 not we but a book was a, a comic book was released in Quebec uh, before Christmas. And it's uh, the biography of uh, Voivod, Despise Icon, us, there's a uh, Forteresse and, uh, and uh, Anonymous. Bah. And uh, in, in, the, uh, in, in, in our chapter, you know, that tells the story of Gorgots. So you have that, that moment. It had to be in there, you know. So right. you see me in the couch. <laughs> watching them play, but on the cartoon it's very funny you know so uh, <laughs> i'll have to check that out dude so and i was meeting the boys in at for fun because we were playing with the dead horse mm -hmm. we had a show on the on, on that day and i remember you know i think they, they already have line check or something or somebody came pick me up at the train station or whatever and it's like guys I, I, I had the same uh, 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 body language. I said, guys, I've seen a UFO on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was the it was the no bullshit face. I mean, right, you, you, right. you gotta see this life changing yeah. situation. Just pale, yeah. like fuck, I just saw fucking something crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're not gonna believe me, but <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, uh, so that that's and dude, man, I was so. And I and I remember when we hit the road with Cannibal and Atheist in '92, I was so that and, and that evening was so uh, important for me artistically that I remember. So when we hit the road, I think it was uh, January or February of '92. Uh, I already had like uh, almost uh, half of Erosion written. I had like four songs. I remember wow. a hotel room. And playing riffs from a path beyond premonition, it was the fourth track I already, already I was writing back then, you know. So, so they were very, 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 very uh, inspirational. So that's that's why erosion sounded like this. Yeah, yeah. Killer, dude. Oh, man, that's awesome. awesome. Uh, yeah. Luke, have you ever heard of a, a group called Spawn of Possession from Sweden? Of course. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Dennis, the drummer, he sent sent me a message specifically today on Facebook, and he's like, uh, I can even read it, but he was like. 
oh man he, he's like so excited that you're on tonight uh what did he say he's like dude just wanted to say that i'm really looking forward to lemay gorgets yeah. is one of the most important bands to spawn a possession for sure uh so cool that you're gonna have him on if i can stay awake for it i'll listen but he's in sweden so it's like nine hours ahead so okay, or okay eight okay. hours something like that oh, that's know. nice so yeah this is like three o'clock in the morning for him or something like yeah. That. Yeah, yeah yeah shout out dennis and then i mean later on so moving past erosion oh, i mean then, yeah then it just gets yeah weird. obscura is next right is yeah. that the next one yeah after that yeah so sure. yeah that's good that's i mean i what casey just said Cro uh uh Corrosion. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Considered dead and erosion. Corrosion, corrosion of Most obscurity. <laughs> <you know? laughs> um, those uh, those two, death metal titles. It it really does blow my mind that that material was already being um, put together in '94. At, at the end, at the end of '94, if my mind's right, we had like '90. 95% of Obscura all written, done. Wow, dude. Jeez. And accepting ideas from other minds that are in the room is, is something that can make something that you had no idea would be coming out of that session. Of course. Or whatever, you know? But that's the amazing part of Surprise. Even today when I write with the, with Colin, Kevin, and Patrice, you know, it's the, you know that's why i i mean we'll come back to 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 them later you know but uh but that's why it's important for me that when i come with a new song to the to the 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 the, the, the that that we're gonna work on it together you know all my parts are written and everything and i'm like dude just do your thing and me then <laughs> When I open an email and I receive a new song with new guitar track and bass track, and I'm like, oh, that. that, that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's important because you have their uh, their their language, their their their, exactly. their personality. In, yep. In the, you know, because now if I want to do a record on my own, and we have all the technology for this, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. But we want to be with your buddies that that. Uh, and and we 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 surprise each other, you know, with with ideas and and uh, and the and what a great excitement that is. So we come back from the tour. Big Steve leaves his band, his project, and uh, we started playing together. So saying again, talking again, you know, we we had we had a we had a big uh, conversation about you know the suffocation aesthetic, erosion aesthetic, and all the influence it has on that. And even after Erosion came out, there was a lot of bands popping out, you know, in this style. And we're like, nothing wrong with this. But, uh, I mean, they're doing great. They're doing this great. But who are we, us? You know, we, we, we want to we wanna, we wanna create a, a new sound. So, so we, we told to ourselves, we did some kind of manifest. We said, okay. We cleaned the drawing board here. We're going to start a record. So we we imposed a couple of rules to ourselves. We said, okay, we're going to take a week off every time. Every time we start, we, we, we want to start a new song. So we take a week off from each other. We're going to come up with riffs on, on each on our, uh, on, uh, on our own. Mm -hmm. But no scan beat. No more tremolo picking, done. <laughs> so, so no more fast picking, no more uh, scan beat. So we're gonna either have a very slow heavy beat, or we're gonna have fucking blast beat like a Sandoval, you know, like on Covenant, and uh, mm -hmm. these were the, the records back then, you know. Right, right. So these were like the big lines, uh, uh, like uh, how do you say that? Uh, these were like not boundaries but rules right. I, I like the, the word rules better totally so now you you kind of paint yourself in the corner and you need to reinvent yourself and and what yes. uh, another thing i'm really proud of, uh, of this record is that uh there's no bells and whistles if you listen carefully guitars aren't doubled and uh, w what you hear on the record the way it's performed live it's it's the it's the same there's no studio tricks or or, or anything you know you can tell it's organic it's very organic yeah, 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 yeah. 
So if there's something awkward or textural, it's been uh, pr uh, 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 produced from a contact with the instrument. You know, it's not uh, some kind of a uh, trick. You know, or uh, you know, uh, yeah. So Obscura, you toured that record a little bit, and then you wanted to stop playing music. Went to the woodworking for a while. And then um, tell us about deciding to get ready for From Wisdom to Hate, which is, uh, I mean, I, that album too, it just blows my mind every time I listen to Thank it. You. Thank you. It, it's such oh, yeah. a, a, a perfect oh, yeah. like harnessing oh. of everything that Gorguts had done up to that point and really like just encapsulating everything with a new twist we we focused on certain aspects of creating music with obscura now let's bring it back to kind of the more death metal aspect of things that's a good point yeah because i remember mcdonald was saying ah oh, i mean i like obscura but uh we don't have the death metal vibe you know so we kind of i think on uh, on the wisdom we we kind of found on the fence you know no compromise for experimentation sound so to speak but it's more death metal mm -hmm. traditional death metal you know like, right uh, like inverted to me it's it's maybe one of my favorite song on that record it has everything that obscura has in, in its toolbox but it kind of sound more death metal but if you pay attention to each rip it's not traditional death metal but mm -hmm. the spirit is kind of back in the room. Don't you agree? Did right. Yeah. Like, no, that's yeah, exactly that's what, that's what, I what we, I, we wanted to capture. So after From Wisdom to Hate, what was Cody your, Sands. you know, mind? Oh, uh, where were you at in your mind? You were like, okay, this is, this is it. I'm done. Yeah. Like I said, you know, I, I said to myself, I'm done, you know, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> I just uh, just put the put the guitar under the bed and I'm uh, I'm just done, and uh, then started the woodworking and woodworking was picking up well and I was uh, having a lot of uh, a lot of fun doing this you know, and learning a lot of new things. Then, a couple of years after, Big Steve uh, reached me, and he goes like, "Dude, uh, I'm starting Negativa and I would like if you come play guitar with us." I said, yeah. dude, I haven't played in fucking four years. I'm like, yeah, forget it. No, 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 no. Come on. You know, we're gonna we're gonna jam together again. It's gonna be fun. This and that. I'm like, oh dude, I don't know, you know. And he not twist my arm, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, I was kind of missing, you know, uh making music with him. You know, we had a very good uh, uh, uh complicity. Yeah. Hearing Knights of Ice. And dude, I was blown away by long stretch performance on that record. And then uh -huh. I said, Oh, I think I'm gonna write to this guy. And he's in the New York area. It's not too okay. far from Montreal. And then uh, I sent an email to John and he said, Fine. Colin, fine. But I needed a guitar player. So when I told to Big Steve, you know, I want to play with different people, blah blah blah. He said, Wait, when we uh when we come back home after the snack. There's a guitar player I want to show you on the, on YouTube. You, you, you got to see this guy. I mean, he's your man. Okay. So, dude, we get to his place and he showed me a fucking dysrhythmia show. Dude. So yep. I, was, I was in the same couch when I saw Suffocation jamming. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I wrote three songs. I wrote uh, uh, Ocean of Wisdom. Uh, Enemies of Compassion and uh, well, I'm not, I'm not, uh, another one, uh, Ember's Voice. So, uh, first weekend, <clears throat> first thing first, I went to jam with uh, with Longstreet one on one, and we nailed the uh, fucking uh, two songs, uh, almost two songs in a weekend, two two songs, almost three. We did a lot of work, dude. You have a I I. I I filmed the first jam. You see a video of our very, very first uh, weekend okay. of jam uh, uh, rehearsal that we got together, and it clicked really well. We got along great. Uh, nice. And again, that's something I said very often in interviews. It's like me when I'm I'm sitting down and I'm writing new music. I want to write 
the music that I would love to hear and that would go like, oh, dab, I'm like, I didn't see this one coming. Right. You see? So yeah. If, yeah. You, if you achieve that for yourself, you know, it's mission accomplished to, for me, you know? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so did we, how far did we get into the Colored Sands? We, we did the first uh, weekend, you know, we jammed out together the first three songs. And dude, it was uh, right on. We we did uh, uh, we did the first uh, pre production, then uh, I wrote uh, two more songs. Uh, Kev and Colin wrote each of their song, and there you go, you have the record. You know, so it went it went very very smoothly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, getting those guys, all three of those guys. That's a super massive force right there. oh man i say that often <laughs> also in interview with, with these guys i'm the worst player in the band <laughs> <laughs> well dude i think we've have we gotten we've gotten up to current day well current day now uh, really quick let's talk about now you've decided to once again bring gore guts back so let's talk about that for a quick minute before we mm -hmm. let you go mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I got the, I got the, I got the e email from uh, from uh, the, the 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 decibel and the festival and everything, you know. And it's been a while. It was like maybe someday. I don't know when I'm gonna start jamming and maybe start maybe jamming and writing some new stuff. And I was not procrastinated, but uh, you know, very busy. Uh, with uh, uh, with the shop, you know, and the, and the, and the, and the, uh, a lot of a lot of sick people around in the family, you know. So I'm taking care of an elder one also, you know. So I really want to be present for all this. But you know, then we got more help, you know, from uh, for for the health condition, which is that's all good. And then I got the call, uh, the email, and I said, you know what? I really want to play, you know, and so that this is a, and it was a, a, a very good, uh, 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 um, how do you say that? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm searching the, a very good uh, occasion, you know, by, by, yeah, yeah. It, it's a nice festival, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and Albert, you've been knowing him for a while, it's family, you know, it's all, it's all good. So, uh, and then I did, uh, I, I said, wait. I need to get in touch with the boys, you know, to see what their schedule are. Because Colin's very busy with the studio. I gotta check if everybody's available and do it right away. And we're we're so eager to spend time together again, you know. It's been six years, or so uh, so it, it's all those things, you know. So first thing you know, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, playing fucking Rod Anatomy, and uh, I'm gonna have a fucking ball, you know. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so it's very simple like this, you know. But uh, and then, um, oh, 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 of course, you know. And then, then when we get done with now, it's it it, it it's a matter we uh, you know I started jamming with Patrice. I already jammed with Patrice like uh, two three times already, you know. And goes very good. And uh, and then we go to New York City next week and jam with with Colin and and Kevin. And and then so when when we get through. The Disabel Festival and everything for sure. I'm not gonna put the guitar away and just focus. Yeah, on, that was gonna be my next thing. No, 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 no. So I'm really in the mood. I wanna, I wanna yeah. write. Uh, I wanna write new music. You know. So yes, that's yeah. where we were yeah. trying to build this up to. Where if if we can figure out if there's gonna be a new Gorgut. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yes. For sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We all win. We all oh yeah, win. And, I, and I'm really, uh, I'm really. We all win. This. Yeah. I, I'm in the, we all win, in the yes. mood for, for, you know, to be in the room and okay, let's play that new riff from the beginning. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, oh mm -hmm. man, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah that passion now? back. That passion's you know? back. I'm mm -hmm. really missing this. You know. So yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well yeah. man, Luke, I, I gotta say, Luke, like you've been one of the fucking, one of my most like. I mean, just talking to you and stuff like one of my favorite uh, guests. Oh, like, dude, me too. Oh, yeah, it's for sure. Like, oh, yeah, it's been so. Like, like, you it's nice all to... all, and like, there's like a, a couple yeah. of like, the ones. Yeah, there's, there's, like, there's, there's some, there's some Another... top shelf uh, episodes for us yeah. hosts, and you're, yeah. you're no, gonna be right up there. When, we'll when we get back on the road, you know, we'll we'll oh, get man. to hang out oh, together. Please, definitely, definitely. Take care, guys. 
Have a good night. Peace out. Bye-bye.